so during the false copyright strike attack on my channel, a lot of you guys were asking how you can uh, help and assist support the channel in some way. And after everything was said and done, we decided to go ahead and start our very own Patreon. Now this Patreon is going to have exclusive goodies for those of you guys who would like to join and support the channel in this way. You guys can gain access to my Discord. I have exclusive videos coming to you guys on the Patreon every single month. And there are tiers for Dragon Ball Rose for those of you guys who want to know her a little bit better and maybe see some pictures, see some of her content. We have consultation for your YouTube channel and of course, channel shout outs. So if you join our Patreon, the one thing that you will 100% get despite whichever tier you decide to join is our gratitude and you are definitely a part of the squad if you join it thank you guys so much prepare yourself So I want to give a huge shout out to Vincent Perez on Twitter because this is where I saw this extremely rare and sort of weird, um, I guess, professional Dragon Ball fan artist debate because I had no idea that young Gigi and Toyotaro actually talked that they had a relationship together, which they do. And Toyotaro, you guys already know, he is the creator, the writer, the drawer, the artist of the new Dragon Ball Super manga. And he was chosen specifically by Toriyama because his style and his history with Dragon Ball AF made him a suitable candidate to continue with the work of Toriyama in Dragon Ball Super. It almost seems like Young Gigi is the runner-up to that contest, like a contest between Toyotaro and Young Gigi, like Toriyama was like, you guys need to draw me one Goku each, I'll choose which one's better, and Toyotaro ended up winning. Now, no such contest happened that I know of, but it sounds like something that would happen, like having a draw-off, because that seems to be the case of what's going on here. So, Young Gigi has created a lot of different works in the Dragon Ball fan manga community, but the one thing he is mainly known for is continuing Toyotaro's Dragon Ball AF. And Toyotaro actually went out of his way to thank him. He thanked him for continuing this story. So here is where the criticism lies, and that is that young Gigi took it upon himself to redraw certain panels from Toyotaro's manga in his own style. And a lot of people on both aisles are saying two completely different things. So some people think it's good for there to be this healthy competition that young Gigi is just showing Toyotaro his take on his art style. And then there's other people on the other side of the aisle that are saying that this is a slap in the face to Toyotaro because Toyotaro said thank you to young Gigi. He gave him some shine for finishing Dragon Ball AF and then young Gigi turns around and redraws his panels in a better style some people might say and that's just a total slap in the face and completely uncalled for and something that young Gigi should have never done against Toyotaro so this is almost like a versus battle and I don't know if Toyotaro and young Gigi are seeing it this way but I'm damn well sure that the fandom the Dragon Ball fan manga community is seeing it this way they're seeing which artist takes the cake so let me address my feelings on this situation I think that it is well under young Gigi's scope of influence if he wants to go ahead and redraw some of the panels from Toyotaro's work. As a lot of people have stated and shown, Toyotaro's panels aren't always pristine, while in my opinion, young Gigi's all the time are from what we've seen. Toyotaro seems to have rushed a lot of things while Young Gigi does not. Now there are different things that go into this. Now Toyotaro is working on deadlines basically and Young Gigi from what I can tell either is not or is working on less restrictive deadlines. So quality is always going to be in the time that is put to the artwork itself. But I do think that Young Gigi has a right to draw whatever the hell he wants to, but there are going to be repercussions like a lot of the community saying that young Gigi is sort of a jerk for doing this to Toyotaro after Toyotaro gave him some shine. On the other side though, I think that young Gigi, in my opinion, is a better artist than Toyotaro. I think that 
looking at these two panels, Young Gigi's art flows a little bit more fluidly and even throughout the fan mangas it just seems to have more of an impact like the panels kind of just jump right out at you while the Toyotaro panels seem to be very cookie cutter and stiff like they're following a pre-designed program while seems like young Gigi is just going off the cuff. Either way, this is probably one of the only times you're going to see this sort of battle between Dragon Ball fan manga artists. But I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Do you think that Young Gigi had a right to redraw these panels from Toyotaro's manga? Or do you think this is an extremely huge slap in the face to Toyotaro and Young Gigi should have never done it at all? And, you know, if you want to throw it in there... Which one, which art, which artist do you think is better? This is going to be Blackscape signing off. Take care, guys.